go, 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 shawty, it's your birthday, we gon' party like it's your birthday. Yeah, basically just, um, yeah. Tell them how tall are you now? Um, got measured in at uh, 199 and a half, so yeah, that was the week. Another half in you or not? I hope so. <laughs> I tried to claim the two centimetres, but they were pretty strict on it, so yeah, anyway. Hoping for a target inside Fixley. Cox is resting down there. Emily crumbs it, left it behind. Darling shoots it out. The first game of Callum Sinclair. Biggest moment of his career, and he nails it. And you're here for the first episode of Shopping with Sinker. Got me basket, let's see how we go. That from Josh Hill got the handball going to Darling to the forward pocket. The ball bounces back into play. The exact opposite of what Melbourne fans wanted. Sinclair's been fantastic. His kick is a ripper. Oh. His kick is an absolute screamer. He gets his second of the quarter. Are you pretty confident? Um, yeah, pretty confident. Played a bit when I was a kid and uh, yeah, ready to go. I prefer the uh, pure hilo, which is uh, permeate free. Don't know what that is, but it's uh, obviously good for it. So we're getting a fair good run in the mornings. Thanks for the question, Will. Everyone's a little bit different the night before a game. Uh, me personally, I like to have a big bowl of spaghetti and some ice cream while watching a nice romantic comedy. Boys, I certainly wasn't prepared for this, but we've got the playoff with a, an equal score of five, so who's going in favourite here? It's been a clean sweep by the Eclipse all year on the Lakers, so I'd imagine it'd just be the same, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Eagles again, and he's an impressive player, Callum Sinclair. It's a good mark. A really big improver has been Callum Sinclair, who's one of the best players on the ground at this stage. He really has had maybe his best game for the West Coast Eagles at home. I think, uh, you know, probably being at the club, you know, three years now, you probably feel a little bit more comfortable. Huh? The Sydney Swans lost Lewis Jetta, but they picked up the Ruckman they desperately needed in Callum Sinclair. Hi there. Oh, that was a nice straight swap, wasn't it? Yeah, and they got Sinclair in, he's a quality player, mm. so they needed a Ruckman. So hold yourself accountable, follow the road rules. Oh, lovely launch from Sinclair. <laughs> For this. <laughs> Holding and using your phone can distract you from what you should be doing here, and especially when you're driving. Do what Ben should have done and get your hand off it. Well, now the kick is out wide. Oh, another one. Oh, 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 like the Sinclair. These are what he's got to make his own. He comes in right on the 50. Right. That never oh, looked okay. like missing. Right through the middle, and the Swans have got their first. Right. And Cunningham's left foot kick is oh, a hot spot. It was, a few. it was a laser pass, and all Sinclair had to do was put the arms up and he hit him right on the chest. Sinclair comes in now for his second of the day, playing in the ruck and going forward. Jared Hilly says he is that forward, underline the forward ruckman, and he kicks his second. Good twisting and turning Jack so hard to bring the ground. Even when he was on the ground, he was fantastic. And Sinclair goes bang and kicks his third. The fruit and veg oil at IGA is essential for elite performance. High ball inside 50. Pack flies, Swans mark from right on 50. Packley goes for home. Sinclair, the side of his boot though, Sinclair's been dangerous. Hands in front, well done Sinclair. Sinclair kicked the first goal of the night tonight. He makes no mistake, two in a row. Saturday night footy down there. And no one knows the SCG like Bronson. And here's Sinclair. Go direct to the top of the square, he's got Sinclair in four. Despite the tackle inside 50, here's Sinclair again. On the West Coast, rookie list, played 29 games for the Eagles. The swap for Jetta. And tonight, he's kicked four. And here's the man with speak of Sinclair. And again, too good for Carlo. He took eight contested marks, which is unbelievable. Forward again to Sinclair. Carlo Sinclair's got him. 
This man, this man, this man, has had the night of his life, and he'll go back and kick five. Callum Sinclair take a bow, five goals. Had a read, that's disposal. Number 24. Now he's just doing a little bananas into the corridor. Cal Sinclair. Um, the Chief to be able to, Chief Sinks to be able to, uh, uh, step up the way he did forward. Uh, high tackle oh, against Hawthorne. But William B. Very quick. Little gear to Mills. So a couple of the youngsters to fall forward. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. Sinclair. Well, strong contested mark. Buddy Franklin led one way. And it allowed Sinclair to be isolated on Burton. He's got the height advantage, the size advantage, and could have even got a free kick for over the shot. Look at me. I've got dog ears. I like your tweet. Can you like my tweet? Me planning your haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Callum Sinclair played a terrific game. Callum was terrific last week. Callum Sinclair, I've had a had uh, the chance to watch him through his days over in the West Coast and Sydney. Something's happened this season. He's clearly worked on his marking and he's come back and played a much more controlled game, uh, a much more dangerous game. A much more dangerous game. Uh... Sinclair is obviously a dangerous player. The Chief. The Chief. The Chief. The Chief. To be able to... Chief Sinks to be able to... Uh... The marking of the Sydney Swans. Callum Sinclair was too good for Michael Hurley. Yeah. And well, the, the two dominant midfielders, TJ Kennedy and Parker, and Franklin starred with his four goals. But Sinclair, as I said, yes. took nine marks and dominated Michael Hurley. Yeah, basically just... Um, yeah.